help me, please? It doesn't fit. I don't know what's wrong with this piece. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it goes there. Let's see. Uh, oh, I think here. Oh wow! I didn't even see that spot. Thank I you. I know. Every every puzzle piece has a spot where it fits perfectly. Yeah, you know what? It's like God's plan for each of mm -hmm. us. He has a perfect spot for us. Yes. Hello, holy kids! We are all called to be holy, which is to do God's will with joy. But then, as we grow up, God shows us how He wants us to live this out in our own lives. And this is our state in life. This is where we fit in the puzzle, in God's great and beautiful plan. You mean like being called to marriage, the priesthood, or to consecrated life, right? Each of these states of life look very different, but in the end, we're all called to love God. I wonder what God taught me to. Mm. Wait! He has called me to be a sister. He has called me to religious life. It brings us the greatest joy to do God's will in our life. But sister, how would someone know, how would our friends know what God is calling them to? Well, that is a great question. And let's start by taking a closer look at each state of life. Marriage is a covenant. What is a covenant? A covenant is a very important and strong agreement, either between people or between people and God. Particularly in marriage, this is an agreement between a man, a woman, and God. And they make a mutual commitment to love each other. And the fruit of this irrevocable bond of love is to help each other grow in holiness and to raise children who will also strive to be great saints. Each member of the family must be faithful to God's grace. And the faithfulness of one member will gain many more graces for the whole family. Yes, and God's grace is super abundant to help us along the way. The priesthood is a unique and special calling by God. It is a call for men to continue the mission entrusted by Christ to his apostles. And they receive a special sacred power that can only come from Christ through his church. This sacred power comes from God and allows them to forgive sins in the name of Jesus and transform bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus. There are also many special graces that flow from them through the other sacraments as well. The priest is like a holy superhero. Even better, sister, he is an alter Christus. What? Which is another Christ. The last vocation is consecrated life. It begins with a desire to love and to serve God with an undivided heart. An undivided heart? Yes, they give their heart completely to God through the vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. A vow is a promise we make to God. And with a vow of poverty, we proclaim that Christ is our only treasure. And with the vow of chastity, we declare Christ as our only love. With a vow of obedience, we choose to place our wills and our future in the hands of God. A consecrated life can take on many, many different shapes and forms. And to serve the church in different ways. And their day-to-day -day lives can look very different. They even can have different names like brother or monk or hermit or sister. <gasps> like you! Now that we have a better idea of the different ways God might be calling us to love Him, we want to go back to our original question. But sister, how would someone know, how would our friends know, what God is calling them to? Yes, the most important thing you can do is to ask God in prayer to show you what His plan is for you. Like the puzzle, God has a special and unique place for each one of us. All we have to do is to say yes to Him and His plan. Exactly, sister. Let us end in prayer to ask God to help us to always be faithful to His plan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 
Dear Jesus, we give you thanks for calling us to love and serve you. We especially pray that you give us the graces that we need to say yes and to be faithful to our vocation, that we may follow you and love you with our whole hearts. We pray all this in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be, be holy, holy kids. kids! God bless you!